The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Efendim hoş geldiniz. Ben Ferdi Dinekli, Aluplan program sistemlerinden, Allplan Türkiye Distribütörü. Bugün size Precast CAT çözümleriyle ilgili sunumumuzu gerçekleştireceğiz. Tesadüf belki birkaç gün önce Precast Software Engineering olan Nemecek grubundaki partnerimiz Allplan şirketler grubuna dahil oldu ve Allplan Software Engineering ismiyle. Burada sadece Allplan'ın özellikleri değil, Precast çözümlerinde de tamamen entegre bir BIM sistemini oluşturmak amacımız. Bununla ilgili tasarımdan üretime ve inşaata kadar BİM çözümlerinin entegre ve eksiksiz bir şekilde uygulanması için e, çalışıyoruz. E, bunun için de çözümlerimiz var. E, daha önce de prekaz çözümlerimiz vardı. E, bugün size e, Allplan Plumber'ı e, anlatacağız. Allplan'la birlikte çalışan bir e, prekaz CAT çözümüdür. E, sunumumuz İngilizce olacak. E, Joseph Messi e, başlayacak anlatmaya. Ben sözü Joseph'e vereceğim ve seminerimize başlayabiliriz. Joseph, you can start please. So, thank you very much, um, uh, Fedi. Um, I just jump into um, our uh, Aluplan team, uh, which is very great um, uh, team for um, the solution of uh, Aluplan and uh, Aluplan Precast uh, team in Turkey. And uh, besides, uh, sure, we have also in the background our team I will show you uh, later. So um, if you need any information and uh, any, uh, let's say, issues requirement, you can contact uh, Mr. Ferdi, uh, even also um, other guys here, attendees to our webinar. So um, going back to the webinar, um, audience uh, who are entering this session, will be unmuted. Um, sorry about that at this, at, this, at this stage. We will have a time slot for sure enough uh, for QA and um, at the end of the webinar. And um, so in case, if of, uh, in case of any necessity, the audience should raise the hand uh, so we can also uh, stop shortly and uh, answer to them and be kind of informed at this session. Uh, as uh, Mr. Ferry uh, told, hopefully uh, will be recorded and shared to you later. <clears throat> Going to the um, deeply uh, to our, uh, let's say, um, group, uh, Alplan group, Nemecik belongs to Nemecik. Uh, like Alplan, each of us engineers, designers, uh, and you as well, uh, our kind uh, clients, uh, should think holistic uh, in all stages. Uh, of planning, execution, build, and use. That is actually our goal in the whole last 50 years. So uh, if we look at um, our portfolio, we are part of Nemecik, as I said at the beginning, and uh, provide solutions for architects, civil engineers, contractors, investors, and much more. So, uh, the fact and figures, um, let's say here in the background, uh, that's a head office in Munich. It's Nemecik head office located in Munich and subsidiaries in many countries. You see here we are uh, a huge company with uh, more than 100 uh, employees here and users around the world. But back to the uh, Alplan precast, um, here our solution, what uh, we can provide. And going back to the background team, I told it a few slides before. Uh, here shortly present our Alplan precast team, HQ in Austria and uh, for sure in Germany. And the customer excellence team, uh, in South Asia, Middle East and Africa, 
by my right side, Mr. Sirun and uh, Jason. He is not attending at the moment, but we can also then even have um, his assistance later. Um, let's say, um, what is our goal actually here? Um, accurate planning is our mot motto and designing high performance and production always in is our goal and was in goal and will be in uh, our goal. That is our motto. And um, a positive trend, let's say, that is actually the feedback from McKinsey, which is very known uh, in the world. Uh, McKinsey uh, do the feasibility studies uh, for, let's say, a new region of uh, investors and the positive trend of um, prefabrication of site has been stated by this uh, organization. And uh, so I wanted just to point it out here. Uh, that means uh, it's, a, it's a very positive trend for the prefabrication uh, precast. Besides that, uh, also we have some figures here uh, in Europe. Uh, the tendency, the tendency um, for industrial cons uh, construction increasing as of 2020, uh, we see here cause of getting more Virgin, uh, more profit and be on time and better assured quality. Each of us knows exactly about the precast, but even it is uh, very important to know that. Now, uh, be actually much more perfect uh, and benefit of using software for sure. Um, our mo motto is as well, practice makes perfect. Our precast team is pleased, is very pleased to take care for any challenges, uh, requirements, and keen of, uh, of any innovation. See as well here, some uh, figures and so on. Let us go into to the uh, open beam, uh, which we provide for designers, for planners, and even for the users, facility management, um, the plumb and team solution fulfill uh, this beam environment um, and fulfill the requirement. This platform provides data for attendees involved in the project. We will see uh, more than this later. Um, what, what does that mean? If we uh, look at these uh, charts, uh, let's say um, the field between the sine wave and top orange curved enhance your workflow and increase perceptible your productivity. The, let's say the upper and, and, and the, the lower uh, curve is actually the current situation of, let's say, any, um, let's say, prefabrication and uh, designer systems that who, you, who are using uh, many um, different or even a variation of softwares uh, who lose them this time. But within all the assistance we have, Plumba achieves all the gaps by using um, this um, helps assistance like element plant, beam booster, pattern parts, IFC assistance. We will see all these items uh, today uh, in a short um, overview. Uh, my Mo, also my my uh, colleague, Mr. Sirun, will um, show you later. So the key to success. Um, that is actually on the background. Uh, we will come back a little bit about that to the history of this um, uh, very nice, nice uh, precast uh, building. That's a garden tower in Switzerland, which is built uh, newly. It is actually a mixture of office and residential building with uh, 85 apartments and 1,800 square meter on the whole and 70 meter high and uh, um, intensively green facade with plant arches made of precast concrete elements. We will uh, see it a little bit later about this um, a huge um, a project, which is done uh, actually by our client, uh, Negelebau in Germany, uh, Germany, Switzerland. So let us go to the plan bar um, and the solution. Here uh, we come back uh, to the highlights. Uh, today uh, we are going um, to show you um, the highlights of Plamba, how we design from scratch with our structured desktop or reading DWG, PDF, IFC files. There are many kind of uh, details that uh, we start by starting. We, we need that. And here by my colleague Sirun will show you 
how we can handle with amounts of uh, partitions and walls and slabs, as well as columns and beams, accordingly different projects. Here we show you the workflow from the model to the shop drawing, element plan, and any alterations. Very important here as well, if we have changes uh, and so on, we'll then follow up with this. Now, um, I want to hand over uh, to my colleague, Mr. Mo, Mr. Sirun. I call him Mo, is his nickname. Um, so, uh, Mo, uh, you can start. Yeah. Stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Yusuf. I will come back. Yeah, just just a moment. All right, can you see my skin, right? Um, okay. On uh, my skin is showing a uh, plan bar 2021 version. Today, I want to show you from sketch how we create or uh, build up a 3D modeling and generate shop drawing after that. So Sirun, we can we cannot see your screen, Sirun. Just a moment. Let's try again. Yes, right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. This is a user interface of Plan Bar 2021, right? I want to show you how we build up a 3D modeling from the sketch. Let me start with the PDF file. Um, right now we we have a PDF file. This is uh, included the uh, let's say uh, wall, window, on door, and any other things in in the PDF. What we should do when we have a PDF file? You just drag and drop PDF file from Window Explorer to delegate to Plan Bar, and then you can scale and you can and then you can choose any options that uh, PDF available uh, for you to to activate or, or disable some function or some feature from PDF. So I just keep it at the default and then click OK. And after that, in plan bar, you will get the PDF file in working area. And then I change PDF to the left lane because I want to draw a wall Okay, I want to draw a wall. To draw a wall, I have to go to wall elements. In the wall elements, I can change thickness of the wall. I can <clears throat> add size, height, and or even the color pattern or hatching of the wall is is depend on you. What what do you want to, to present on your drawing? Right now, I would like to um, start with a 25 uh, centimeter thickness of the wall. And then from PDF file, which we set as a left lane, I just starting to draw architecture wall. Right. And right now, okay, I add one more here. And right now, I want to uh, draw 10 centimeter thickness of the wall. I just go to uh, fabric and load uh, my fabric. Regarding, uh, this is, uh, I set for 10 centimeter thickness of the wall and many other things in the properties window. And then I draw along the PDF files once again. And if you look at the 3D animations, it's automatically synchronized with a 2D view. Whatever you do on plan view, it will be automatically synchronize or, or render the 3D animation for you on the, on the left side of the window. All right. Okay. I go to the next one. I want to make a door opening. I just go to the door opening. From the door openings, I just, let's say, 
define position of the opening that I want to make it. Okay. If I did something wrong because of the um, something happened during I I uh, create the opening, I can easily uh, adjust width of the door by using stretch entity. Or you can double uh, click and and go to properties window and change it in in some parameter that you want to let's say adjust size or even height of the door. And we can also let's say copy the door opening as well if you want. Okay. This is the door. And for the window, the same as well as you um, make a or, or make a door or, or put a, a door into the into the wall. You just let's say define height and then assign position. You just pick where is the first opening area and where is the end opening area. All right. That's it's the same as the door. You can copy it if you want to copy. Or you can copy and rotate it as well. For example, I want to copy this window from horizontal door or uh, wall to vertical wall. Okay, whatever you want to do in in plan bar is also possible to do. All right. I assume I finished the geometry. Okay. Right now, I want to convert architecture wall. Okay. To the PCAS elements. I just go to this side of the PCAS elements and then select element types. Right now, I want to uh, let's say create a concrete wall or, or a solid wall, and then select architecture wall. And wait a few seconds. Now all elements became to PCAS elements. How to know it? Because you have. Um, Mark number of PCAS element and some parameters or some properties showing on the screen with a triangle symbol. That means architecture elements become became two PCAS element already. All right. And after you have done or you have uh, design PCAS element, you have possibility to make a connection between elements. I just go to connection window. And then in the connections window, there are many parameters around available for you to let's say um, design the connection. For example, if I want to design the connection between uh, those two walls, I just select wall. And then the program automatically generates a profile of the connection and Put the fixture in size in according to your parameter on this window. And at any time, if you want to uh, modify uh, directions of the connection, for example, from vertical wall to horizontal wall, you just go to um, window uh, parameters and change the section to another one. And as I told you, if you can remember, uh the, the fixture or even um in the path right now uh put just three pieces but if i come back to the first one the uh, on the uh, uh, vertical wall now you can see the fixture has um, five pieces all right and then i can continue um, to design my connections between 25 centimeter and 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter wall. <clears throat> All 
All right. One more on give. Okay. I have so we have done the let's say uh, design the connection or, or make a wall segmentation. And in case of you have the long case wall, and you want to use the automatic function to let's say divide the wall by let's say maximum length or some limitations of the design, you can go to division window and then select the wall that you want to make a segmentation in according to, to let's say limitation. For example, maximum length or, or maybe minimum length or whatever. Right now, if I want to change maximum length from six uh, meter to three meter, I just change it in the properties window. And now you can see the result of, of the design. And it's parametrics. At any time that you want to modify, you can open this properties window and then you can enter or adjust the new value into this window. And of course, for the connection as well, if it is a parametrics, if you want to change width between or gap between elements, you just change from 10 millimeter to 20 millimeter. And you can add some feature as well if you want. <clears throat> just a moment. It's stuck right now. <clears throat> just a moment. Oh, my computer is stuck. Uh, Yusuf, can I pass my screen back to you and then we will come back later? Because uh, my program is stuck already. Okay, Serun, no problem. Uh, bu Thank arada, you. Sayın katılımcılar, uh, sorularınızı chat kısmından uh, şimdiden yazmaya başlayabilirsiniz dilerseniz. Uh, Seminerin sorunda Okay. Uh, thank you, Mo. Um, we will come back to you. Um, so far, yes. I think uh, because of um, the <clears throat> internet, maybe it was a little bit getting slow. But nevertheless, we will uh, continue that. Um, I will just um, follow up um, with the information we have seen, or we will see then uh, after that the element plan. If we um, look at the element plan, uh, element plan is the production drawing which we uh, can create. Uh, Mr. Sirun will show you um, immediately after uh, the uh, computer is uh, going well. So um, then uh, if we go furthermore to the technology of the element plan, uh, we will see what whatever we do in a 3D model, we will then create exactly um, and automatically in a very high detailed uh, format um, your uh, production drawing, which actually consists of um, any information you need. The, the element plan is as production layouts will be created directly from the model. And hereby, it doesn't matter whether planner fulfills requirements, connections or requirements, of reinforcement, mostly working either in the layout or filling the 3D model. That is actually the way uh, it is a bidirectional. That means in the in the model and uh, in the layout will be then uh, changed. Now um, here we see uh, some contribution. Um, I would say here any any alteration. In according um, to the geometric, to the reinforcement, to the inserts, will be done follow up. Uh, let us look at uh, some uh, contribution uh, Mr. Sirun has uh, compiled here for us. I would say here um, start with um, with automatic reinforcement adaptation. How does that mean? Uh, the multi-layer reinforcement mesh and bars combination adapted 
for any design codes. That is very important. Currently, more than 20 codes we have, we can provide. Is the intelligent key to achieve reinforcement, multi-layer concrete facade elements. Surely with integrated connectors, lifters, anchors, and even um, other, um, let's say, inserts in according to the center of gravity for complex geometric will be here um, achieved in case of additional volumetric inserts, meshes, bars um, will be automatically recalculated to a producible one. We will see as well here, once the insert is changing, the meshes and the bars will be then completely um, adapted in this case. In the second one, contribution, is for us the quantity of concrete and in the layout, also the bar scheduling uh, will be created and up updated automatically. We will see here, for example, if we look at um, such a, a precast element like um, uh, beams or columns, in a certain step as a third step, we will get this layout. And this layout is completely adapted to the components uh, we designed. Uh, much more important here is actually all the quantities, as I said, the weight, the scheduling, and the information which is required for the jobs on site, I mean, on, on, on prefabrication, and even other jobs uh, by erection will be fulfilled here in this uh, case. Uh, here, the, um, let's say we see as well, there is another uh, measurement type of, because it's done, somehow in different region. Also the adaptation, as I said, during the codes will be um, completely adapted here. In the third one, that is actually, we will see in additional views and sections we can uh, combine here. That is very important. Any details can be achieved in the easiest way the designers required. You just assign the area, and this area will be then completely um, integrated with a different scale determined by designers and can be then exactly located in the element plan. It's just one sample with a highly detailed information. So, um, going back to the next item, to the layout, uh, that is the eye trigger. The eye trigger as well, it's a um, it's very, very uh, interesting, um, let's say, automatic um, um, parametric information, which uh, can be embedded by the designers. Eye, tr eye trigger makes element plan more efficiently in the case of parametric scaling. Detailing and, and the variation of displaying of precast required for production uh, flow optimization, the stationary jobs in the plant. Um, the task of the eye trigger is a lot. Uh, it is not only um, to do some automatic shop drawing uh, and uh, detailing. In a case, uh, there are uh, much more than this in according to optimization of the, of the production. We see as well here, uh, in according to the shop drawing, uh, for sure, if you look at this one element, which is actually just uh, assets um, or inserts some issue on near face, fixed fixtures only on one side, the element plan is just showing a one view system. Now, if you are going with the same shop drawing to the another element, which um, the items is on both sides of um, the element. Um, automatically, I trigger um, affected back that two views is needed and automatically you get two, two views for two different, um, let's say positioning 
and the information we just needed on site that is very important which comes by eye trigger another item we see here we can also use this eye trigger in different purposes sometimes you need a, a, a let's say a production sheet for just having the additional bars that means the eye trigger also decide automatically to have just one layouts for these additional bars we see here for example how this sheets comes automatically just in according to the information which is needed then on job site in the other hand the eye trigger also decide for a different calculation of recesses much more complicated to show up how we can de decide uh, to or, or, or, or eye trigger decide to create in that case instead of uh, another layout to showing up the recesses that is the goal of or even the the task of the challenge of the eye trigger so um there are many drivers uh, for an efficiently design i want to go uh, furthermore to another item um here is actually the ifc assistance um what what does that mean the ifc assistant uh, that means okay we uh, can read in the ifc data and um, can handle with a with a complex element but it's not only the um, the complex element which has to be read here we see as well <clears throat> how we manage then the data which is coming from uh, from the uh, from uh, the ifc in that case, um, there is actually some uh, contribution from our uh, client. I will also maybe come back to this. As I hear actually the the main goal is um, the ifc will be read in here uh, we will see how how easy uh, just should just just back to see how fast and easy we can create this data so that is exactly this is exactly the point that uh, from the IFC we have done the assistant to know exactly the data uh, which can be then linked exactly with a with a concrete with a precast element and this is actually the assisting us from the 3d model uh, directly to a precast which is then producible at the end uh, we see as well then even in a factory we can then read exactly this um, uh, precast element whatever it is is a wall is a slab columns beams whatever so there's actually the experience from our customers um, which has been done shortly yes and then uh, we have another assistant that is um, actually mechanical and uh, plumbing electrical um, let's say um, integration um, that is that means uh, the data is coming from external uh, and we can as well then integrate all this uh, via uh, our IFC um, assistance. Uh, we saw it before. And to the clashes, uh, we can then exactly adapt uh, this, uh, let's say, um, data um, um, to the model. Um, I just want to ask, uh, Sirun, uh, are you now up? Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe we can go uh, go back to uh, this uh, some items we missed yes. up, and then we can continue as well. Then uh, maybe with the MAP assistant live. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Yusuf. Yeah. See. Okay. Come back to our presentation. Sorry about that. Okay, right now I make a wall segmentation for the long wall and even for the 10 centimeter thickness of the wall. So let's let's say we have done the to make a wall segmentation with the connection. And then we jump to the reinforcement. 
in Planda, we can let's say uh, Sirun, place. Sorry, Sirun, your uh, screen is not available for the time. Oh, yes, sorry. But... Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I want to create a reinforcement for the because law elements. If you look at the parameters window on the left side, you can see we can assign a steel gate in according to, to your standard. And then you can choose uh, what kind of the reinforcement that you want to put into the PCAS element. For example, uh, reinforcement tie in according to your standard or even the automatic reinforcement in according to, to mesh wedding machines if you have mesh within machine in your factory. And then you can specific concrete cover and even the lateral concrete cover for the mesh. And, to, and then if I want to <clears throat> design reinforcement, it's really easy. I just select because for elements that I want to design reinforcement. <clears throat> All right. Just a moment, it's stuck already. Okay. We have done this already to put the reinforcement to into the PCAS law elements. It's, it's was a double, uh, it, it was a, a double mesh, right? And with the lifting ankle and uh, collagated eyes. So I would say uh, all the item inside of the PCAS element, it depends on your configuration at this window. Then let's continue to another wall and, and and and and at that time I want to have just a single layer of the mesh. I load my setting for the single layer of the mesh for 10 centimeters of the wall. And then select the cast wall elements that I want to uh, put a reinforcement. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Now you can see all item inside right now. And, and I assume I have done the, the, the design of the reinforcement. Later on, I want to generate shop drawing. To generate shop drawing, I can use element pen function uh, command to select what that I want to create shop drawing. And then I can choose layout from my library. Right now, I want to use this layout and then I say OK. Remember, we automatically generate shop drawing in according to your setting. If you look on, on this drawing, you can see we have three view with one isometric view, right? And on each view, uh, present, presented uh, uh, each, each item inside, like um, let's say dimension line, uh, fixture, a mark number of the fixture, and so on and so on, even the reinforcement. And of course, for the Titan block and, and some, let's say, table showing the information of your uh, elements inside of the PCAS wall elements, it's also uh, available for you to, to, let's say, to list all the items that you want to show. And is it's what parametrics means if you, uh, let's say, do something in the shop drawing, like I want to make an opening here, if I want to make a manual opening here in the drawing, Ramba will update your drawing immediately. <clears throat> okay. And the reinforcement around opening will take place in according to your setting. All right. And then what happened with the 3D animation? If I go back to the 3D animation or 3D model, now you can see. Okay, it's always synchronized from 2D to 3D, or even you update it from 3D. For example, if I delete opening. In a few minutes, Ramba will synchronize the 3D model to the 2D drawing automatically. OK. 
okay this is a technology that uh available for you uh when you uh work with plan bar and this is for wall elements and the next one is if i want to make a flap segmentation how to make it if i want to make a flap segmentation so i i assign a wall as a reference right now and then have to go to slab design to slab design i can choose type of the slab there are various type of the slab are available in plan bar for example half floor hollow core uh piece hollow core and concrete slab at the moment i want to let's say create a concrete slab then i choose concrete slab and then in the properties window, you can choose type of the slab. You can choose the factory that you want to produce your slab and uh, standard and so on and so on. There are a lot of more information that uh, you have to uh, be set before you decide to cast slab elements. For me, I, I have I already done. And then I want to, let's say, decide a PCAS slab. I just <clears throat> select in size of the wall is it's an internal area right and then program be finding the boundary of the slab and generate the slab elements for you like this with the reinforcement in according to your setting okay if i want to continue uh to make a slab on the next uh area i just click in okay okay something happened and it's not correct right so how we should pick it I just uh, let's say close PDF drawing in background and then design slab again. Select boundary of the slab. And now you can see it's really easy to design slab elements in plan bar. Okay. And you can modify it as well. If you want to make a new segmentation for the slab. It's really easy. For example, if you're not fine with the uh, automatic uh, segmentation for slab, you can easily make a manually uh, make a segmentation for the slab like this. All right. And then I can, let's say, mirror it to another side because it's symmetry on your project. Okay. And then the last one is I want to make a shop drawing. I just, let's say, select elements that I want to uh, create shop drawing. And then, okay, I want to use this layout to generate shop drawing. Okay. And if you're not fine with the scale, you can leave scaling from 25, maybe to 20. And now you can see the result. It's automatic update. Okay. Okay. This is that all for SREP right now. And the next thing is, if we talk about uh, MEP system, for sure, uh, some of you working with Levit or other uh, MEP uh, application like DDS CAD or, uh, or many other uh, 3D uh, modeling software. So what we are working with um, other uh, 3D software like MEP, uh, like MEP system. So you can uh, export MEP system as an IFC file and then import into plan bar. And the wall is made in plan bar, right? You just uh, open those two models together. One is a um, model in plan bar and the other one model created from other 3D application, like let's say like label. And what we want to do right now, if you look at my skin right now, we have a uh, piping clash with the wall and we want to make a let's say opening because of uh, I'm piping is class to uh, the wall from this side to this side. 
So we just go to our MEP visa or MEP assistant. Select objects that we want to, let's say, uh, work on it. And then plan bar to exactly the, the elements that you selected on this window. And then what we want to do, we want to make an opening because of it is a clash with the wall, right? I just select on the group of the elements, go to the library and choose my opening setting. Okay. Load fabric and place land. <clears throat> In a few seconds, <clears throat> you will get automatically opening around 3D objects or around MEP system in according to your parameter setting. And Prime also uh, update the reinforcement or even the uh, object inside of the PCAST wall in according to your setting. Okay, so imagine if you have, let's say, thousand of piping crash with the PCAST wall because of a huge project. You can use MEP Wizard or MEP Assistant to speed up your, your daily work to make a opening. But last but it is a not last but not least. We have another one example that I can show you. I open open shop drawing for this wall. And when you look at the, the wall, there are some um MEP system classed with the with this PCAST wall, right? In the past, if you want to, uh, let's say, put any uh, MEP system inside of this PCAST wall, you have to do it by manually from the fixture command. But with the MEP assistant, it's very really easy. You just click the wall that you want to convert MEP system Go to the list and load it from the fabric. Program, autom program will automatically adapt rivalry from plan bar to the uh, MEP system. And then when you place run, you will get the MEP system in the shop drawing by automatically, not manually. So that means if you have um, MEP system and you want to work in plan bar, MEP visa is a, is a better tool for you to speeding up your daily work. Okay, you said that's all for my side regarding to MEP system. I will hand over the screen to you. Thank you very much, uh, Mo. <clears throat> Um, show my screen uh, for sure. Um, so um, we have also seen uh, MIP Assistant uh, shortly uh, how we automatically uh, generate then the shop drawing with the items inside which is coming from external. Uh, in according to that, we have also, um, let's say, a speed up on um, Beam Booster. Beam Booster, what, what, what does that mean? Um, the focus of Beam Booster is to handle with a large size project that reduced tremendously the input of details into the layout. Um, there are many uh, issues here. We have uh, the numbering, the, the same numbering of the elements uh, in a huge project can be done automatically, just the identifier. And uh, even more, if we are going to uh, do, let's say, a structure precast part or facade elements, uh, the facade element will be done automatically, um, let's say, um, um, recorded and assigned. And we see as well in the layout, then all the information, which is then similar, uh, even here, the 12 pieces of the element will be then recorded here and coming back these 12 pieces uh, actually automatically to the um, to the layout. Another thing is the Python parts. Python parts is um, another section accelerate uh, our job um, even uh, much more. Um, and here um, I have also a contribution very shortly. How does that mean? Um, if we look at the PDF file and we have done such a parametric um, elements, we see as well uh, how easily we can uh, set up a volumetric element like a 
bathroom unit and uh, there are in the bathroom unit some um, let's say uh, alteration and um, even ad additional recesses opening which uh, we can uh, create there is not only the parametric way to do this um, let's say um, cell uh, this bathroom cell uh, even um, we have done the possibilities to um, do any reinforcement any alteration there for example here we have to add um, the additional for example concrete uh, on uh, let's say on the outside facade uh, as a sunshade and window shade uh, will be then recorded see yes, exactly easily to get the layout the layout and the model uh, associated together once you're changing the layout or in the model you will get all the information inside as well step by step that is actually the way of parametric um, um, design called Python part but by the way this is a script language you can as a key users you can uh, learn easily and do this Python uh, by yourself even if you need any uh, parametric volumetric element so um, the last um, actually action is uh, the last uh, point is actually the 3d design uh, for to tender um, if you look at um, this um, charts um, today if you do a cost estimation uh, you do it by by hand on a paper on the left side we see it that is actually the old way the new way um, Mr. Sirun uh, most shows you before we can easily do the 3D model and from this 3D model uh, we can get uh, easily done the amount and in our digital environment uh, there are different types of data such as DWG and DXF which we can read actually this is the way how we manage that and uh, your salesman uh, can arrange the 3D model based on the 2D reference drawing and from that from uh, there we can get all the um, amount of that and uh, here the benefits uh, you can achieve uh, the internal calculation of each volumetric parts according to required concrete in reinforcement assemblies without any details and even the transport and production and the benefit uh, two is actually the producible, um, a reproducible calculation and customized reports within the 3D PDF, which is actually a documentary for your tender. And uh, besides, the third benefit uh, will be done, uh, let's say the alteration in your 3D model, which can be automatically updated um, into that. Let us look at at the end uh, to the Plumber packages. Uh, we have. Um, um, four packages essentials uh, that means um, uh, here we are doing uh, let's say the uh, the structure uh, single elements the slab um, most shows you before uh, that is an automatic way how we uh, accelerate uh, a parametric way placement of uh, slabs and even by walls and the assets is actually a combination of all that as a full package uh, coming back to the essential package uh, as I said, there's a creation of uh, the single element. The single element can be um, a columns, a beams, a rafters, uh, even uh, more. And this is something that um, it's actually completely involved in this essential package um, with, for sure, all the assistance uh, we showed you shortly, IFC, MAP, and Beam Booster. In the slab uh, configuration, for sure, uh, we saw as well shortly how we managed and the slabs very easy um, and uh, also the items the connections of the slabs uh, can be done um, let's say calculated uh, in a way um, of a parametric and uh, then uh, to the walls we have done the, we have the possibility yeah. um, uh, Sirun, uh, sorry you, you are uh, you should be unmuted um, and and the walls and the assets actually is the package which you have all in one package essential plus wall plus slab and uh, you can easily uh, use them in your project in all combination parts 
Um, some figures um, of uh, our customers, um, let's say, um, here want to show up. The red block is one. I'm not sure if uh, you are interested in, uh, let's say, in, in a brick prefabricated walls. We have the possibility um, to, um, to produce such a um, prefabricated wall with fully automized red block bricks and uh, even much more than this. Here we see as well uh, then um, the, um, let's say the the, state, the statement of, of the of the owner of the customers, uh, Tobias, managing director of um, of the Red Block, how they are using our software to accelerate actually the um, the precast prefabricated element. Besides, another one is the Obendorfer. The Obendorfer. Um, realized uh, actually uh, with this uh, idea as a smart factory. The smart factory means a paperless factory that you never need done any uh, print out uh, on jobs. The jobs will be then done uh, and displayed on, on the, on the, let's say on the, on the full screen. And uh, you can also go to the details and easy. You can do the job without any errors. Um, coming back um, to the, to this uh, nice uh, building, I have also uh, a contribution um, uh, on this um, building. Um, I mentioned it before. There are some uh, ideas and we do some, um, let's say, videos on that. All these arches uh, is done in precast and is managed into the precast part. As we saw it before, yes. Another one is actually uh, the Sweden, the Swedish company, which are using uh, our software and uh, do a very highly sophisticated uh, facade element. And uh, then uh, the Tyndall uh, in America, uh, one of uh, actually customers who uh, were using. Uh, actually, our competitors uh, Tecla in the past in 2017-18, and uh, he changed them to us uh, because of uh, better assistant of the technic side and even the better quality of the software. Now they are using since uh, um, three years uh, our software. Gamuda as well in uh, Malaysia. Uh, they have now two plants, uh, two factories, uh, uh, fully automated uh, systems. They are using Plamba and Tim software. And uh, then the Robin Village in Singapore. Um, okay, the, they increased the, the, the capacity um, um, after one year installation uh, and increasing uh, more than doubled uh, output. Um, that is in Singapore, Robin Village, and um, here the Baumax in Chile as well. Uh, they were using also a competitor's other software uh, before in the in the former time, 2018-19, and they were very disappointed about that, and uh, they changed them to Plamba. And uh, for sure, the main the main goal there and the main benefit was there the uh, time saving because of the completely controlled and quality and even the improvement and the budgeting and cost and having focus on the on the on their budget of, of, of your their project which was matched exactly so coming to the conclusion um, you rise of your productivity and capacity to medicinally and uh, cause of less error and eliminating of uh, miscommunication your team with increase the quality by using of internal standards and control, measure your team, ensure a clear operation. That is very important. And to resume of the features we have spoken, seen today, would like to close with a customer statements, Baumax. Baumax actually at the, at the, uh, at the, at the last uh, was using IDAT software and uh, changed to Plumbar. Um, Actually, the benefits, I would I make it very short, is more than 50% time saving, quality increase up to 60%, um, uh, less errors and uh, planning expenses. That means also the budget uh, will be done completely um, in schedule. 
that is actually from my side. Uh, I think we were a little bit uh, over the time. Um, wants to come back to um, see some question from your side. It'd be great if we can answer. As far as I see, there is no questions on the chat part. Yes. Uh, uh, in the meantime, if there will be any, uh, we can uh, answer it. Uh, veya uh, herhangi istediğiniz bir zaman bize sorunuzu iletebilirsiniz. Uh, özel bir sorun isterseniz onu da lütfen bildirin. Uh, in the meantime, I would like to ask you a question to you, uh, Joseph. You know, two months ago uh, in all plan, uh, there was a new innovation, automatic reinforcement. Yes. It's with the item parts and in the market, uh, you know, uh, it sounds very well in Turkey also. So it means that in all plan, we are uh, reinforcing any model. You just model it, you're reinforcing it. Is it your job, this uh, automatic reinforcement? Because I have seen it uh, many months ago in Piambar. Um, actually, um, this is uh, the Python parts. We can um, do it with our plan team now. Uh, it is changing a little bit uh, for sure, uh, but we do it in, in uh, not only in our team because the precast is a little bit, um, let's say, different because in the automation systems is not only the doing the reinforcement, the reinforcement has to be also then managed for and, and, and, and reproduce on the machines. So that th therefore it's a little bit uh, tricky way uh, when we are going to um, just um, thinking about uh, automatic reinforcement is um, not enough because this reinforcement, even it is a meshes or even cages, it should be as well that in the machine producible that means um, we have done to work uh, more or less with Python parts and even uh, in combination with the uni technique format with the uni with the interfaces which is then linked to the machine yeah yours is more complex as, uh, as far as I can yes see. because because uh, we have to think the, to the machines otherwise if you have no machines for sure we uh, is actually um, are completely enough if we um, can do the reinforcement uh, completely uh, with the Python uh, language for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as as, as okay, I said, the, the the main the main uh, customers uh, around the world, if they have machineries and uh, mesh welding systems, uh, it has to be then uh, rechecked by uh, Plamba um, to be produced on the machines. That is the, the main thing. Otherwise, the rest is actually nearly the same. Yes. Yes, I can imagine that. Okay, thank you. Uh, there are no more questions. Uh, so, uh, so uh, maybe it's very positive. Maybe it's no so positive because uh, I would uh, say yes. Uh, the more question is uh, we're coming uh, to us, uh, the more yeah people are interested. But maybe they are interested. Okay. I hope it was okay for you yeah. and for attendees. Yeah, yeah, the participants can uh, ask any questions anytime to us, to you, no problem. Sure. Uh, we are waiting. I hope as well that uh, at, the, at the end, the packages are coming well um, for, for you and for the participants because we have four packages um, for um, also Turkey region. And uh, okay, if uh, the customers are interested to the software packages, we can discuss them later in the details. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much for everybody. Thank you I too. Thank you. So we can end up the webinar. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.